If you have a rabbit and carpeting, then you probably have a rabbit that digs in that carpeting. Digging is a very common behavior because it is also a very natural behavior for rabbits. In order to keep house rabbits from digging up your carpet and doing other destructive behaviors, you will need to give your rabbit something that is okay for her to dig, an alternative to the carpet, and teach your rabbit what is off limits. Alternatives to carpet. Since your rabbit has a natural urge to dig make sure you provide something in which your rabbit is freely allowed to dig. Make your rabbit a digging box out of a large, fairly deep cardboard box, cut one side lower or make a hole to allow your rabbit to get into the box. Then add a thick layer of shredded paper, hay, or even chemical-free soil, this option will be messy though, in the box for digging. You can even hide a couple of toys or treats in the box for added interest. Smaller boxes or litter pans with shredded paper or hay can also be offered for additional digging opportunities. Untreated grass and sisal mats, these can be purchased in the pet store, are also great for satisfying your rabbit's urge to dig. Rabbit-proof your home. There are many ways you can protect against damage from digging. You'll need to decide for yourself what would work with your living space, but here are some ideas. Protect the corners of the carpet with a heavy tile, lump of wood, paving slab or brick, pick something that matches your decor. Something quite flat will work best so your rabbit stands on top. Taller objects will just create a new corner a few inches out from the old one. Another option is perspex, which you can fix to the carpet with double-sided tape. Sometimes just moving a heavy object and rearranging the furniture to block the area will break the habit when combined with providing alternative digging opportunities. If you have expensive flooring, you can protect it with a cheaper cover such as a rug. A sheet of plywood covered in lino slash vinyl flooring makes an excellent easy clean floor for a pen. Grass mats are a good flooring option for a small area, but they may need replacing regularly as bunnies love to chew them. If your rabbit is digging the back of the sofa, fit a chew-proof tunnel behind it. This allows your rabbit to enjoy the space but prevents them trying to expand into the sofa, floor or walls. If your rabbit is outside and digging your lawn rather than carpet, cut the grass short and put down a layer of mesh so it sits snug to the ground. Pin it in place with wire pegs. The grass will grow through, hiding the mesh, but your rabbit won't be able to dig. Alternatively, lift the top inch of turf, put down the mesh and relay the turf. Nourish your pet from the inside out with wild Alaskan salmon oil. Sourced from the wild, pristine waters of Alaska, our oil is packed with essential omega-3 fatty acids that promote a shiny coat, support joint health, and boost the immune system. Give your furry friend the gift of optimal health and vitality with wild Alaskan salmon oil. Go to bemixpets.com and get 22% off. Supervise and redirect your rabbit's behaviors. Your rabbit doesn't instinctively know that they are not allowed to dig on your floor or furniture so you must teach them. When you are starting out with a new rabbit, watch your rabbit carefully at playtime. Make sure you start this training as soon as you bring your rabbit home so no bad habits start early on. Whenever your rabbit tries to dig where they should not say no firmly but calmly, clap your hands, or stomp your foot on the ground, to get your bunny's attention, and then take your rabbit to their digging box to encourage the digging behavior in the appropriate place. Have patience with your rabbit. It will take time for your message to sink into your rabbit so be patient but consistent. Never hit your rabbit under any circumstance. If your rabbit keeps going back to your things instead of digging in her box, put them in a timeout in their cage for a few minutes. Another alternative is to use an exercise pen, they make them for rabbits and pocket pets, placed on a sheet of linoleum to protect your floor during at least part of the playtime outside of the cage. As your rabbit gets older and settles down digging should become less of an issue and you should be able to trust the rabbit more. Spay or neuter your rabbit. Spaying or neutering rabbits helps make them less prone to destructive behaviors including digging and chewing. There are also behavioral and health benefits to getting your rabbit spayed or neutered. It's important that your rabbit has the opportunity to dig, but the amount of digging can also be reduced by providing more non-digging based activities. If your rabbit uses up her spare time on foraging for food, interacting with a companion or playing with toys then she has less time left over for digging. The most important thing to remember is digging is normal rabbit behavior. The problem is the environment you provide, not your rabbit. Your goal should be to transfer the digging behavior from the areas that are destructive to outlets that are more suitable. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.